Okay guys, so let's go na to uh, workers proficiency. So hopefully guys, nabasa niyo na yung ating question dito or na kita niyo na sa PowerPoint. Okay, so diretso na tayo sa uh, solution. So dun sa problem natin sa worker proficiency. So may dalawang worker. So worker A and worker B. So, ang pinapa-compete dito guys is sa since dalawa yung tanong dito. Uh, det determine daw natin yung cost nila per piece. So, ilan yung cost na naproproduce ni worker A compared sa cost ni worker B. So, yun yung letter A. Well, prob letter B naman, ang tinatanong naman is, magkano dapat yung matatanggap ni worker A okay, para at least yung cost ni, ay sorry, yan, yung cost ni worker A maging equal sa cost ni worker B. So, magkano yung, in short, magkano yung increase in salary ni worker A yung dapat tatanggapin yung sahod compared kay worker B. So, yan yung ating uh, uh, question number, letter B, sorry, question letter B. Okay, so, doon na tayo sa A. So, ito na yung mga cost na makikita natin or ma-analyze natin. So, we have material cost, wage, tsaka, Repair of defective piece. So, yung material cost, so, pareha sila dyan. And which, since pareha naman sila ng sahod, tsaka nung cost ng materials na ginagamit, saan sila na magkakatalo or magkakaiba dito sa repair? Kasi si worker A, wala siyang reject na tinatawag. While si worker B, nagkakaroon siya ng reject. That's why, yung reject niya needs to repair. So, usually ganun guys sa production eh. Pag may reject, kung kaya pang gawa ng paraan. So, sayang kasi yung raw materials. So, may cost din kasi yun. So, if they, if it can be remedy, so mas maganda. Okay, so let's compute for first for the material cost. So, worker A, so ilang pieces yung pinuproduce nila. So, parehas 200. So, parehas 200 yan. Ayan. So, magkano yung kanilang cost per piece. So, 22 pesos yung materials. So, 22 pesos and 50 cents. So, same dito. Per piece. So, magkano yan? This cost, 4,500. So, pareha sila. So, material ko. So, pesos to a pesos. Ay, so, 22 pesos, guys. So, peso yan. So, ito rin, same, 4,500 din. Ayan. So, same sila. 4, 5. So, dito na sa baba pala. Pangit. Ayan. So, 4,500. Ayan. So, parehas. How about the wage? So, parehas silang sahod, which is how much? So, 450 per hour. So, parehas yan. Ayan. So, same lang din dito. Ayan. So, saan sila nagkakaiba dito sa repair? Kasi si worker A, wala siyang reject. Kaya, zero yan. Pero to, mayroon. So, ilan daw yun? So, out of 200 niya, na output, o nagpaproduce, nagkaaroon siya na how many reject? 2%. That's 0 0.02. And how much yung uh, repair niya? So, 10 pesos per piece. So, ayan. So, how much to? So, mayroon siyang 40 pesos na repair dun kay worker B. So, let's compare the cost by getting the total or i-add mo lang so add natin so 4 5 times 4 5 plus 4 50 so that's 4950 how about kay worker B so lamang lang siya ng 40 pesos syempre so add mo lang 40 so 4990 pesos and of course how do you compute for the cost per piece. So, we need to divide this by, ay, sorry. So, we divide natin yung total cost nung napuproduce nila, which is 200 pieces. Okay? So, sa worker A, dito, 200 pieces. Pero kay worker B, since nagkaka-reject siya, so, we need to subtract the rejection. Okay? So, hindi siya takaproduce ng 200 pieces. So, let's compute. So, dito, Yung cost per piece ni worker A. So, 4,950 
50 divided by 200 since wala siya reject. So, kompleto. So, ilan yan? That's 24 pesos and 75 cents. So, ito yung kanyang cost per piece. While si worker B naman, so, cost per piece niya. So, ito din naman yun. So, yung total cost which is 4,990 divided by yung kanyang nare-reject. So, ilan yun? So, 200 times 1 minus 0 0.02 or in short ilang uh, you have to get the percentage 200 times 1 minus 0 0.02 so equal yun sa 196 pieces so it's me rejection ng apat na piraso okay hmm. so yun yung ating ano so how how much is the cost per piece of worker B? So, cost per piece niyan, 4,990 divided by 196. That's 25.45 or 25 pesos and 45 cents. So, sino mas mahal ang, or mas mahal ang cost? Siyempre, si worker B. Since nakaka-reject kasi siya ng 40 pesos or nag, mayroon siyang additional cost na 40 pesos due to repair. And yung total output niya, is instead of 200, naging 196 lang. Okay. Dahil dun sa defect na nangyayari. Okay. So, yun. So, now, so letter B naman. So, what should be the wage of worker A? Since wala siyang reject, ano yung magiging sahot niya? Kung i-co-compensate mo ngayon siya due to no rejection compared dito kay worker B. So, paano yan? So, ang formula natin dyan is wage ni worker A plus, of course, yung wage kasi guys, cost pa rin na company yan eh. Diba? So, now, kada nagpapasahod siya ng tao, of course, cost pa rin yun. So, nababawasan yung company value. Okay. Plus, the cost of materials ni worker A. So, worker A ito yung formula natin. Equal yan sa yung cost per piece ni worker B which is how much yun? So, 25 pesos and 45 cents times yung output ni worker A which is 200 pesos. Ayan. Then, of course, cost of material ni worker A, ito yun. Okay. So, yun na. Uh, since parehas naman kayo sila ni worker B so kaya 4 5 pa rin naman yan so solving for W so that is 4,000 plus uh, plus 4,500 so 25.45 pesos times 200 pieces sir per piece kasi yan so in peso how much yan so that's 590 pesos so in short from 450 pesos so, magkaaroon si worker A na increase ng 590. Kumbaga, so, dapat yun yung mapupunta sa kanya sahod. Dahil wala siyang rejection. Kumbaga, kung, kung yung cost dito na ibinabayad kay worker B, napupunta kay worker A. So, so from 450, sasahod siya ng 590 pesos. Okay. Kumbaga, parang incentive kasi yun, guys. Eh. Since wala siyang reject. Parang reward yun ng company kung, mag, kung mangyayari yun. Okay? So, yun. So, that's how you solve workers' proficiency. So, you're re, re, uh, rewarding worker A with this salary, yung 590 pesos, because of being proficient. Since wala siya rejection na yun. Kasi kada reject, guys, it's loss na company yun. So, tandaan nyo lagi yun. So, if you work in a manufacturing, so, hanggat maaari, since, ano naman eh, uh, defect naman, di man may iwasan. Pero hanggat maaari, you can minimize defect. Okay, so so yung para at least proficient kayo sa trabaho nyo pagdating sa manufacturing. Okay? So, yun guys. So, on our next video, so we'll try to solve naman uh, equipment maintenance. Okay? So, yun. So, thank you guys.